So in this video we're going to be learning about template strings. And what they are is essentially a new way to include JavaScript expressions in your strings in JavaScript. So here is how we would do it using the old version of JavaScript. We have our variable here, we give it a name. And if we wanted to include that in a string, say for example we were printing this out, we would take our initial string and then what we do is just append on our variable at the end. So this is essentially two strings that we're joining together. And if we run that, you can see it works as expected. But that syntax can get kind of annoying, especially if you've got complicated strings. So the new syntax is much better. We have our same variable up here, but when we're printing it out, instead of using single quotes or double quotes, we use these back ticks. And then whenever we want to include a variable or an expression or some bit of code in our string, we use the dollar sign, the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket and we put our expression inside of it. And if we run that, it works as expected. So I'm going to copy this example from howcode.org and you can see here in this example, we can include variables. We can also include any JavaScript expression. So we can include addition or we could call a function. And you can also see that we can include new lines. So using the old way of creating strings, what we would do if we wanted to include a new line is we would say hello world and if we wanted to create a new line now we would use the backslash n character to insert a new line and then we would put in the second line. But in the new version of JavaScript when we use these back ticks all we need to do is hit the enter key and that will insert a new line for us. So if I run this now you can see it prints out the first string, the second string, and the third string we get the new line character like we expected, and the fourth string also gets a new line and we didn't have to put in the special backslash n character. So that's a really simple look at template strings in the, in the new versions of JavaScript. They make it a lot easier to include expressions and code in your strings. They're basically just a much nicer syntax for including expressions in your strings. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.